Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com, and I'm their first impressions gameplay video for Mythos, a 3D fancy action MMORPG published by Red Banner. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Mythos or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. So let's go ahead and get started over here. Now keep in mind, I'm actually doing this video in its closed beta. So I have something over there to read, but I have to do a secondary password real quick, which I set up a bit earlier. So let's go ahead and use that. And you guys can see it because it's an awesome password, 133737. And hopefully it works over here. And uh, it's kind of borking out on me. Yeah, there we go. We're in right now. And keep in mind, guys, one really cool thing about Mythos is that it was actually being developed by a company called Flagship Studios. Now, Flagship Studios actually went bankrupt, and Red Banner eventually took over the game's service and the game's development. But keep in mind, the people that were working on the game were much of the same people that worked on Diablo 2, an awesome action MMO. It's not, well, it was like a lobby-based MMO, but it was still kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and create our character over here, our race descriptions. We got gremlins, we got satyrs, I'm not sure why he's not loading. Satyrs are invisible right now, there you go. Takes a few seconds to load. For some reason, this character creation screen reminds you of Allods as well as uh, World of Warcraft. But we can keep scrolling through here too. We got human, cyclops, a lot of playable classes. We got gremlin, satyr, human, and cyclops. The four playable races over there. Classes are bloodletter, pyromancer, gadgeteer, which sounds pretty cool. And we get Bloodletter, Pyromancer, and Gadgeteer. The three playable classes right now. So there may be more classes depending on what race you actually pick over here. So, so far, not yet. Anyway, let's go play as a... Uh, let's see. I'll keep it normal. Let's go with Human Bloodletter, I guess. Bloodletters are warriors, I guess. And it looks like they are. And I'm not going to play around with the customization too much. Let's go... Let's go with the default guy over here. Some old black guy with a leap beard. Anyway, my name will be Remote, and let's enter the game world over here. Now, there are actually closed beta keys for Mythos on MMOHut.com slash giveaways, but we actually have very few of them right now. And I'm hoping the game is actually a lot like Diablo 2, because I actually really like Diablo 2. It's one of those games that I still kind of go back to every now and then, like every year or every other year. I'll just go back to that game, reroll a character, and get to level like 90 again, doing my awesome bail runs. Anyway, you can see these two, you got your HP over there and your mana in the same slots they are in Diablo 2. So I guess it was a little tutorial over there, or like some story stuff, but I kind of skipped that right now but it doesn't really matter right now because the game again is in closed beta and actually they say that the engine behind this game is the same engine that powered uh, Hellgate London which is another MMO which actually kind of failed but let's go talk to Dia over there De can I zoom in on her? Yeah, I can. Now, graphically speaking, the game's graphics aren't really super high-end, but also keep in mind, I'm not running the game on its max settings, actually, because it actually does lag if I record on max settings. So I'm not even running the game on maximum resolution or settings. So, Matea, do you like hunting? Uh, I like hunting. Your face shows you are dying for a hunt. And there are wolves wandering over here. Kill the wolf. Click accept over there. I should also mention, actually, the, the, the version of the game I'm playing right now, Mythos, I'm playing on the Frogster version of the game. And Frogster actually has the license for the game in Europe, but there are actually no IP restrictions. So you can still play on the European version like I am right now without any problems. North American license is actually on Red Banner, which is actually the one I'll link to once it's actually out over there. Anyway, let's go kill some. Can we kill these cows? That would be awesome. But nope, we can't kill those cows. We can talk to Jim over there. Pretty, pretty boring name over there. Sup, Jim? And uh, again, just the items in the game and the interface reminds me a lot of Diablo 2. But again, that shouldn't be too surprising because many of the same people at Blizzard that worked on Diablo 2 did work on Mythos over here. But let's go run down over here. And I want to find something to kill. I want to see some of the action stuff. And from what I read and heard about the game, there's, there's supposed to be that randomized item system. Not sure why that wolf didn't really fight back, but it's actually the beginning part over here. Unidentified Beginner's Adventurer Cape. And unidentified probably means I gotta identify it and it has randomized stats. And one of the really awesome things about Diablo 2 was its randomized stat system. I mean, come on. You would always keep hunting in the game, look for the perfect items, get, looking for awesome runes, awesome gems, and things like that. Which I think made Diablo 2 a really fun game that you can always go back to, because the randomized item system was pure awesome. Even even like the rare items in the game were randomized too, so you could always get something better, which is really awesome. So where are we going right now? I gotta go back over here and talk to the little tutorial dude over there. So early on, you can expect the game to be really easy, but if this game even lives up to a little bit of Diablo 2, I think it would be awesome. But now, actually, there are actually quite a few uh, Diablo-inspired MMORPGs out there now. I know Red War tried to do the whole Diablo 2 kind of thing, but they, that, they game kind of failed at it. So let's go right click on my identify charms and identify my awesome cape over there. Plus one weapon damage bonus. So let's go equip that. And I can already tell you the whole item system over here is going to be awesome. Because when, it, when the game has a really randomized item system like this, you're, you're always looking for the perfect gems, the perfect items and things like that, which is a lot of fun. So click accept over there too. And I got to kill a giant bear right now. So let's go and find that, which is actually not sure where that is. I think it's over there. Travel elsewhere. I guess I gotta go over there and let's see what happens. So yep, there's a little teleporter. We can go in there and we can go to the dark cave over here. So click travel. So we'll see what else is Diablo, Diablo 2-esque besides the itemized system in the game. But I mean, gameplay-wise, it's an action MMORPG where you kind of point and click to do battle. So can you move with, yeah, you can move with WSAND as well. So if you prefer WSAND controls, you have that in Mythos. 
click tab over there and you can see your map as well even the little map icon over here is diablo 2 inspired which again is is a really good thing in my opinion and i actually don't know very many people that played diablo 2 and didn't like it so any game that resembles diablo 2 is awesome in my book which at least, you know, can kind of keep you over till Diablo 3 comes out. But that's not going to be free to play, unfortunately. So I got my attack over there. I can use my triple stab over there. Piercing Flurry. Can I, can I have that in right click? Yeah, I can right click to do that. So you can set particular moves on your right click. You can bind this to the right click so you can easily do them. So this actually looks really cool. And I just own that bear pretty fast. So let's click J. I'm not sure what J does. And let's see my achievements. Uh, battle strat. And I killed... I got an achievement, which is pretty cool. So you can equip achievements in the game that you earn, and they actually impact your stats. There's actually a reason to get achievements, besides, you know, them looking cool in your profile. In most games, you just want to collect all the achievements because you can. At least over here, you get some bonus for it. I already have one equipped over there, and it gives me plus one to vitality. And you can see all the other achievements. There aren't that many right now, I suspect, because the game is in closed beta. Or maybe I just can't see them right now. But that's actually a really cool thing. And let's go my anchor stone, which brings me back to my bind spot, it looks like. Kind of like a little teleport scroll or a, a town portal. Actually brings me back to the beginner, beginning of this dungeon over here. Which was really not that necessary because it was like five steps away. But let's go back and talk to this guy over here, my Dia over there. We can go zoom in on her too. And you can zoom in a lot, actually. But you back safely when you catch those terrible animals, blah, blah, blah. Evade nimbly and click confirm. So I got some awesome monies over there. Click accept as well. Am I still level 1? Yeah, I'm still level 1, I think, with uh, 113 experience. So let's go click on these over here, which kind of teach you how to move around and things like that. Uh, I can click on M over here, and let's see where I have to go next. Can I talk to you again? Nope. I got a little arrow on my head telling me exactly where to go. So that shouldn't be too difficult. I actually want to see the game's skill system because I want I want to see they got the skill system right because I think Diablo 2 really nailed their skill system. And it's kind of hard not to talk about Diablo 2 when looking at this game because the game is definitely inspired by Diablo 2. And even it's even made by the same guys that made Diablo 2. I don't think it's obviously the whole team behind Diablo 2, but you know. So I'm just going to use my awesome recovery medicine over there. Why is it called medicine? What was wrong with potion? Why are they calling it medicine? And I got a... What am I doing over here? Put it over there. Not sure what that did. Yeah, I just bought from him, actually. Never mind. So yeah, you can buy items from these guys over there. And let's go back over here. Even the inventory screen, again, looks very much like Diablo 2. You can equip your sword and things like that over here. Do we have an alternate set over here? Nope, I don't think we can. We do. And what I don't get in most MMORPGs is that you can only wear two rings. Come on. Why are there only two ring slots? I can wear like six rings on each finger. All right, that'd be like awesome. Just mega stats. So let's go talk to this dude over here and click confirm. Now, the English translations in the game are definitely top-notch, actually, surprisingly. So the English translations are definitely up there. Click accept over there, too. Now, come to think of it, there really aren't that many Diablo 2 inspired MMORPGs. I mean, you have Battle of the Immortals from uh, Perfect World Entertainment, which is actually pretty fun. But there was also, like I said, Red War, which actually ended up shutting down. And then you had Erebus Trevia Reborn from Outspark, which actually never launched. Which is kind of lame, because it had like three rounds of closed beta testing. And open beta was always around the corner, but it never actually happened. So let's go talk to this dude. He's got two quests for me. Let's go grab both of them. And I'm pretty sure I'm in the game's tutorial area right now. Maybe not, but I'm not seeing any other players. But that's again because the game is in closed beta. And we actually have very few closed beta keys for the game on mmohunt.com slash giveaways. I'll probably do another proper video when the game is actually launched. So let's go talk to what does he want me to do? And he gives me some disintegration. What is that? Disintegration equipment? Uh, I don't know. Let's go. I'll, I'll take it though. I'm not even sure what he just said. Anyway, I gotta go. Uh, let's see. Do I have a little? Yep, I got the little arrow over my head telling me where to go. I gotta go mine some copper ore notes. So the game has, I guess, maybe some sort of crafting system too. So the game actually feels, I mean, movement-wise, feels like Diablo 2 too, Diablo 2 as well. But the WSED controls are nice too, because if you want to play with WSED controls, you kind of can. Though I feel like targeting enemies would be kind of weird by using that. So yep, here's my crafting tree over here, which actually looks surprisingly in-depth. So let's go ahead and create a crafting hammer. Let's click create on that. So early on, the game is kind of just teaching you what the game has to offer. We can see, uh, I want to bring up my skill menu. Is that K? Yeah, it is K. It's always K, isn't it? So I got materialist. Are those my only skills? Do I have any more skill trees? Yeah, I got three skill trees, much like you had in Diablo 2. We got Crimsonate and Red Hand for my class. And I suspect that each of the playable class in the game have, have three skill trees as well. And that's really cool, too. I have nothing to use right now because, uh, I again, I didn't level up yet, so I'm still level 1. Bring up my character sheet, and yep, I am Remote, the Bloodletter, and I am level 1. Go me. You can see your stats over there, too. And let's go talk to this dude, and I'm, again, not sure what he's saying, but let's click confirm, and I got my awesome uh, gear from him. Click accept again. Now, I kind of wish the graphics were a bit sharper, but in a game like this, graphics aren't really that important. And you actually don't want the, like, the game's graphics are too good, it's going to kind of distract from the gameplay too, actually. You want the graphics to be, like, it, I like the fact that it's really zoomed out, and you have a lot of control over the camera. So you can't actually, like, move, pan the camera the way you want, which I don't think you can. So it's got that isometric view. Well, let's see. The beginning quest of old. Let's go down over here and uh, let's see what's up. 
And I'm, again, I'm not seeing very many players right now, probably because I'm in an instance newbie zone right now, which is what I suspect is going on. And let's click close on you. You got nothing to say to me. And you can complete the quest by clicking on the icon, all right? I, I want to complete the quest. What am I doing? Am I supposed to talk to you? You got a little question mark on your head, but I don't think I can go there right now. But it really wants me to talk to you, so I'll go ahead and try again. So I should probably read what he's saying. You can complete the quest by clicking on that. There you go. Whoa! I got the animal style camera. So that's actually really cool. You can actually pan the camera the way you want, but I'm not sure what's going on right now. But click close. I'm done with you. So you do have actually better control over the camera than I thought, which is kind of cool. And you can zoom in like this too, which is really cool. Now, I'm still not sure if I can actually pan the camera, but you can actually zoom into your character in like an MMO style way, which is pretty cool. I mean, you don't have that this top down view. You have more control over how you want it. And we're going to go over here. Recall charms can be used quickly to get back to a village. So it's, ooh, T3 Entertainment. There you go, guys. I just completed the tutorial and I just got to like the, the credits over here or something. I just beat the game, guys. Go me. Uh, I'm not, Mythos. There you go. That's the name of the game in case you forgot. So let's see how far I can get in my time limit over here. And uh, again, that was definitely the tutor tutorial zone. And oh man, we got like an intro cutscene over here, an anime cutscene, which is kind of cool. Oh man, we got a Cyclops over there getting owned, and I'm not sure who's killing them, but I'll say that's me. Probably a bad guy though. But those Cyclops look kind of evil too. Oh man, the green gem. The all-powerful green gem. I'm uh, not sure what that is, but I guess I have to get that. That's like the soul, what is it, soul stones from, uh, from Diablo 2. They bring to the health forge. And we got, what are those, airplanes? You, that looks kind of weird. This guy's kind of like bowing down, and he's got uh, another dude behind him with bandages on his little uh, horns over there. And uh, he's praying to the sword in the stone. What a cool guy. So it's actually, the, the, the production value in the game is definitely definitely there. In the cutscenes, I guess, are kind of cool too. And it, it's cool that the game has cutscenes too, because not many MMORPGs actually do have them. I wonder if the game is story driven, because if it is, that would be awesome, because the Diablo 2 story was awesome. Come on. If you played through Diablo 2 in the expansion pack and you didn't like the story, you are crazy. And we got some pretty looking elves over there, which are definitely the good guys, because elves are always the good guys. There are no evil elves, unless they're dark elves. So I'm gonna skip that for now, even though I was almost done, for sure. And, oh man, is everybody dead over here? Nope, there are a lot of dead wolves, though. Oh yeah, this, this is the MMO I know. Everyone's grinding together, murdering some wolves. This is an MMO right here. This has that MMO feel to it right now. Let's go AoE kill these guys right now. And do my right click over there, stabbing them. Oh, I already leveled up over there, too. Level up. So let's see how many stats we get. We get five stat points, and I think in Diablo 2 you also had five stat points. Mine are all going to the most important stat in the world, which is strength. And I got, what is it, two skill points. I think you had two skill points in Diablo 2 as well. See, I'm not sure where to put them right now because I don't want to screw up my skills. But screwing up skills in MMORPGs absolutely sucks because most games don't give you skill resets. So I'm going to leave that blank for now. And let's go, these wolves are coming after me. So I'm leveling up a bit faster outside the tutorial zone. And where are the guards, that villager saying? Which is actually a pretty good question. Where are the guards? Can I kill that guy over there? And I'm not sure. Muscle Poo is actually another player. I can go to the wet cave. We can go to the small plane or the Lindsay cellar. I'm going to go to the wet cave and see what's up over there. And it's a 2-3 to three zone. So it tells you exactly where it is. So I guess you don't have to travel between areas. You kind of instantly teleport there. Which actually makes a lot of sense. But it is an MMO because there is a persistent world over here. While Diablo 2 is more lobby based. And I just kind of went to the wrong place. But you know what? I'm going to keep walking around over here. And let's keep moving. And the map kind of gets in your way if you're not used to you know, the whole map being on your screen. But I've played enough Diablo 2 to get used to that. So let's keep on moving. I'm like the bright, like bright graphics though. But again, they're not like super crisp. Let's go. It's, it's not like super crisp, much like what's that game? Uh, Torchlight, which is actually a single player game. Let's go kill these dudes over here. And awesome over there. Uh, I'm telling you right now, the game's most prominent thing I've already noticed is the randomized item system because something like that can definitely keep you coming back for more. And the skill system looks pretty intense as well. You got three skill trees with a lot of skills in each, you know, in each tree. So there's actually a lot of variety. Coupled with the item system, I think it's gonna be kind of cool. Hopefully the game is popular. And again, this, this version is the European version, but luckily there are no IP blocks on this version. Uh, once the game actually comes out, you, if you're in North America, you probably want to play on the Red Banner version, which will be less laggy for you. So I'm not getting much lag over here anyway. So we'll kill those Shaman guys over there. And, and these trash monsters are so easy right now. But they're level 1 as well, my, my Fallen Imps over here. Reminds me of Fallen from uh, Diablo 2. Kill these guys over there. Oh yeah, just slashing them down. I have no mana right now, which I just spend my right click move. And I can go to to easily use my MP potions over there. So if you're playing like a sorcerer or any like skill heavy character, you gotta carry lots of potions with you. And the good thing over here though, is the potion stack. 
if you remember from Diablo 2, the potions did not stack. So you had to get the belts and get, get, carry like hundreds of potions on you. And they took up so many slots, it was super annoying. But you know what, guys? That was Diablo 2. This game is, uh, I guess it built on what Diablo 2 did. And gameplay-wise, I'm pretty impressed so far. Hopefully the story is awesome too, because then there would be a good reason to keep playing. By the way, guys, I actually am running out of time for now. If you guys do want to play Mythos or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.